It all started with a man and the message God entrusted to him. St. Jose Maria saw Opus Dei in 1928, but only with men involved. He saw a part of the church that would foster the search for holiness in ordinary life through ordinary work. God showed him in 1930 that women were also to be a part of the work. He encouraged his daughters and the women who drew close to the work to attain the highest goals possible in the most varied sectors of human activity. The first women joined the work in Spain. They were Maria Ignacia, Lola Fisac, and Incarnita, all of whom helped St. Jose Maria govern the work. Guadalupe, who started the work in Mexico, Nisa, who started the work in the United States, and Dora, the first numerary assistant. Many of these women led heroic lives. Among them, a young teenager named Monsi Grases, whose cause of beatification, like those of Incarnita, Guadalupe, and Dora, has started. Since then, countless women from all walks of life have been called by a special divine vocation to live and make known the message of Opus Dei, that everyone can become a saint in and through their ordinary work, done well for love of God and others. In 1950, three numeraries, Nisa, Blanca, and Marga, and two numerary assistants, Francisca and Pilar, all from Spain, started the Women's Apostolates in the United States. These five pioneers spoke broken English at best and had much to learn about their new country. Even before the first center opened in the United States, Pat Lind joined as the first American numerary. In 1984, the first center in Houston, Southgate, began with Jose Ramos, Andrea Nagodi, and Lisa Coyne. Other centers opened since are Sheridan, also in Houston, and Arbor Lee, opened in Dallas. Tremendous opportunity for growth in Texas exists. St. Jose Maria encouraged a professional attitude in every aspect of work, especially recognizing and appreciating the work of the home. A well-managed home fosters peace, happiness, and a healthy personal and family life. This requires skills and training, which also can be applied to the hospitality industry, as well as other fields that deal directly with people. Many skills can be shared with other women through personal friendships. Visiting friends who manage their homes well helps us to effectively and cheerfully incorporate these ideas into our own families. Some women of Opus Dei have organized small discussion groups to share these ideas, such as Home Advantage. With the expanded facilities at Feather Rock Conference Center, more programs for women will be offered, such as Home Management and Home Arts Workshops. Mothers of all ages will attend workshops to acquire the skills, knowledge, and techniques to manage their homes well. Topics will include home management, basic finance, health and wellness, work-life balance, and the home, a school of virtue. Training programs. We will offer more focused training programs to teach professional skills to gain experience in the hospitality industry and home management. Programs will promote the effort to live Christian virtues in and through the work being done. Trainees will work in the kitchen, laundry, housekeeping, or dining room service of the conference center. Other educational and training classes for women in the community will include nutrition, health care, child and elder care, home management, and basic finance. Seminars on marriage, family, and personal development will also be offered. Sheridan Study Center has the following programs for young women. The Art of Living Club for high school girls teaches the basic needs of the human person food, clothing, shelter, and health, raised to the level of culinary art, fashion, home health, event planning, and interior design. The Creative Cuisine Club for Middle School Girls teaches basic cooking skills 
which includes preparing a variety of entrees, breads and pastas, salads, appetizers and desserts. Training programs challenge high school girls to acquire professional skills and gain experience in home management and the hospitality industry. Topics include culinary arts, dining room service, housekeeping, and laundry. The programs at Sheridan promote the effort to live Christian virtues in and through ordinary work. Whatever vocations the students are called to, the attitudes, virtues, and principles they learn will benefit many. God is calling you to be a saint, whatever your work, by being a good Christian professional woman, turning all the circumstances and events of your day into an occasion of loving God and serving others. Opus Dei exists to provide the means to help one achieve this goal. Through its spiritual and doctrinal activities, professional development programs, character building classes, and mentoring partnerships. The work of a woman is often overlooked by the standards of our culture. However, this work is the bedrock of society. The homemaker is like the silent candle accompanying the tabernacle day in and day out. No one may notice that this vocation, like that of accompanying our Lord, is the most important of all. We thank you for celebrating with us.